Hi guys, uh, Steve Brown from Swansea Business Marketing and today I'm here down at DJ Heath with Steve from DJ Heath and I've got a few questions I want to be talking about timber decking. So my first question would be, as you know, I put the timber decking down in uh, myself and I know there's yeah. some questions that were going through my head. So why would somebody want to put timber decking down than say paving slabs? Because my view on timber decking yeah. was it was always going to rot very quickly. Yeah. No, that's not really true, Steve, because the thing is, with like timber deck, and um, the, the product that we're selling is timeless timber. Right. Um, it comes with a 20 year warranty. Yeah. Um, it's going to be something that you could do yourself, right. you know, where you wouldn't actually have to bring in, um, you know, an outside contractor or a carpenter. So, um, it's a lot nicer to, you know, to use. Right. It's, um, you know, it's great in the summer. I know we don't get that good of summers, no. but you know it's more of a nicer product to actually sit out on. Well, you've you've just said there now. Let, let me just stop you a second. Yeah. You've just said there now. It's quite easy to put down. Yeah. Put down. Now I know when I did my uh, back garden. Yeah. It was quite a big project. So yes. How would somebody know how much to buy? You know how how do they work out yeah. that what yeah. they're going to need and how much to buy? I know you said. What we'd say is to obviously to, to do a little sketch, bring it in to us. It's actually my trade, and you know there's a few of us that are actually um, you know quite experienced right. in that sort of field. Yeah. As it happens, I'm a carpenter myself. Um, what you'd have to do is bring in a little sketch, and we'll um, work out everything that you need. Right. You know, and we can obviously give you some tips of how if you want to do it yourself, or if you wanted us to you know recommend somebody. Right. A good carpenter, you know, we could we could do that for you. So you can actually supply. So if somebody yeah. actually wanted it installed, you've got yeah. someone you trust. Yeah, you yeah. They, they would actually, to be hundred percent honest, they're going to yeah. be our customers, Steve. Right. Um, you know, they're trade boys, they're yeah. people that we've known for a long time. Good, right. good tradesmen, um, and we could always recommend them. You know, right. to come out if you didn't want to do it yourself. Right. So I mean, you know, I put mine down myself and all that. Um, one of the things that I found uh, was, well, I did mine about five years ago, and one of yeah. the things I found useful was. I was actually, because it's such a big project, I was able to get the materials delivered in two loads, yes. which really yeah. helped me because otherwise yeah. my drive, I wouldn't be able exactly. to move in it. Are you still providing those sort of services? Can people yeah. can, mm -hmm. can people take the, have the stuff delivered as and when they need it? Yeah, we actually say to people, you know, that's most probably a better way of doing it. Right. Otherwise, you've got so many components there. You, you know, it's just easier to build all your framework. Right. Sometimes it's even better to actually measure your decking boards after you've put your frame up. Right. In case you've made a little mistake or you decide to add something onto it or change your design. Yeah. So even though we've, you know, we'd give somebody a budget cost when they came in, yeah. you know, for everything, a lot of people will go away and they'll come back and say, look, oh, we decided to make it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter or put some steps in or whatever. So right. sometimes it's quite a good idea to buy all your framework, yeah. get all your framework down and then just come back and again, we can check it through and, you know, right. and you can add the deck boards on after, you know. So you know when you're saying about the framework, yeah. um, do you or is there anything on your website that helps people to, to know how to put this down? Because I, I, yeah. I did it five years ago, I can't remember, I remember putting some yeah. kind of membrane down and everything yeah. else. So yeah, there is. Um, uh, there will be things on our website. You know, there will be um, instructions on our website. But also, Timeless Timber have made a brochure, right. and it's got like an easy step guide, which right. obviously we hand out to each customer. Yeah. Um, and obviously, we're at the end of the phone if somebody needs a bit of advice. You know. Right. And why? Why have you gone with uh, Timeless Timber? I mean, yeah. without mentioning other brands, I know the one thing that sold it to me was literally the sheer thickness of this timber. Yeah. Uh, why did you go with Timeless and? Um, how do you justify the fact that people are going to be paying extra for time yeah. they would say for a cheap yeah right timeless timber is a company that um that's it's owned by um british softwoods which right. is um a british sawmills right um the, we're a family business we've been buying off that company for 30 odd years right. um all their products are always a, a good standard uh when they introduced their deck in um it was going to be obvious that there's when it was going to be a good product right uh, basically, to, to back that up, they've given, you, given the customer a 20-year warranty. Yeah. Um, it's tannalized and wax treated. What that means is when it's been treated, yeah. um, it hasn't just been tannalized. It's had uh, pressure wax pressured into the timber, right. which obviously makes it more stable. Yeah. Um, what it means is you're not going to get as much um, splitting, warping, twisting as you would with other products. Right. There's lots of other reasons. Um, they're also they're members of TDA, which is the Timber Decking Association, which means that every single piece of decking actually has to have um, has to go through like stringent testing. Right. 
um, and it actually gets stamped with a deck mark um, stamp, oh, which right. actually means that you know it's up to the it's up to the job basically, yeah. and that's you know obviously peace of mind for the customer. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that, but um, yeah. So you know when I, I bought my deck, I mean I, I've got to be honest, I've left it in its natural colours. Yeah, because yeah, that's what I, nice, what I yeah. wanted. But yeah. So one of the things that um, always concerns me when when decking all that, like I love the natural colour of wood. Yeah. But my wife. You know, she might want to change the colour, stain it to go with the garden furniture we bought, yeah. whatever. So, and I would always think, because it's such a big area, I'd be worried about streaking and, yeah. and all the rest of it and blotchiness and all yeah. that. So, what about staining and those sort yeah. of things? Yeah, basically we carry a good range of um, uh, decking oils yeah. and wax protectors, which are actually... What, what's the difference between a decking oil and yeah, a wax protector? Yeah, right. A decking oil is... Um, is uh, is uh, obviously an oil. Right. And basically what a decking oil would do is um, actually... Uh, cover the top surface, right. and that comes in a few different colours. You can yeah. have a natural, or like you know, there's about four or yeah. five different colours. A wax protector is really if you wanted to keep the deck in looking the same right. as um, when it, when you bought it, really. Yes. And all the wax protector is going to do is add to that extra coating of. Um, it's going to give it an extra coat of wax. Right, and that makes it that makes it waterproof and all that. Yeah. The so only go on. Yeah. The difference really being is if you use a wax protector, it, it'll leave the timber looking more natural. Right. Where a deck and oil does actually um, close in the pores of the timber. Right. So it depends what sort of look you want, you know. Right. Um, personally, I'd go for the wax. But right. But what about this thing? I mean, uh, my fault. I didn't touch my deck for about three years and then. Yeah. I had the dread that I had, which was the green slime everywhere, yeah. you know, the algae and all that. And it actually, during the winter, it became quite strippy and dangerous. Yeah. So I had to do something about it in the spring. So what would you advise people to do in the terms yeah. of the ongoing maintenance of it? It's pretty straightforward, Steve. All you've got really is, um, obviously it would have been good if you'd done it every year, because yes. it had been less work yeah. for you. But what I try to say to customers is that they're going to have to give up like about four or five hours a year for yeah. the sort of standard normal deck in somebody's yeah. garden. Um, depends whether they're near trees and whatever, because obviously that's not going to, you right. know, it could be, you know. But basically, it's really straightforward. All you'd have is uh, we carry about three or four different cleaners, depending yeah. on how dirty or yeah. how much algae is built over the winter. Um, really easy to use, just mix them up, brush them on. Some of them you can mix them up, brush them on, walk away. Right. Come back next weekend, and basically it's broken down all the dirt and algae through yeah. the winter. So it's really straightforward, and um, then you're ready then to give it another coat of either wax protector, deck and oil. You can stain it, do whatever you want, you know. Okay. So but it's not the end of the world. It's no. about four hours. I'd say you need to think of giving up like four or five hours a year of your time, and your deck's going to look as good as you Yeah, straightforward. Okay, so so guys, I've been here today. You know, Steve Brown from Swansea Business Marketing. I've been here today with Steve from DG Heath Timber. Uh, massive range of t timber decking down here. I suggest you come down and have a look. If you want to have a look online, they're on the website's www.dgheath.co.uk. They're on Facebook and all the usual social media channels. Uh, or, of course, you can just ring straight through to Steve. And the number is Steve? Yes, 01792 884 Or better still, if you could come down to uh, our garden and we can sh you know, show, show the customer around. That's right. Okay, yeah. no problem. Thank you very much, guys.